Hello, hello, everybody. Good afternoon, and welcome back to Wild Heart. Uh, I'm going to apologize uh, first and foremost for being late, but second, because I need a little snacky snack before the stream here, and it saves me from having an entire fucking meal. So, um, I apologize if it ever sounds like I'm eating. It's probably because I am. But hey, and I got Chili looking at me like a goddamn beggar right now. No, you're not getting any. Go lay down. But don't lay down there because you're not on camera. No, go lay down. Go. Fine, do what you want. Stupid dog. I love you. Stupid dog. Uh, okay, so I did a little bit of uh, offline work, and yes, I recorded it, so, you know, fuck you guys. Um, and it was mostly to get uh, the Sukumos in the first region and the second region, which I spent about seven, six and a half hours finding <laughs> uh, yesterday. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I also went ahead and I set up uh, little points here so we can you know, fast travel ourselves between it without a load screen and it's obviously much faster. Uh, so there is that. Oh, I never really saw you before. Um, so now we're just worrying about uh, there's so much shit on the screen now. Uh, now we're just really worrying about um, completing things. Uh, I did try the sand spreader quest during that time, that offline time, uh, for the pure fact. Ooh, small zephyr crystal. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. There's a there's a dragon. Pit that I need the need to it's the last dragon pit of the entire map that I need to get and um, it may or may not be locked behind a small zephyr crystal <laughs> so I was wondering where the fuck to find them and well here we are um, maybe it was just a regular zephyr crystal ah, fucking no anyways I uh, I tried out the grit hog and uh, it reminded me a lot of the sap scorch in terms of its design but it was more raccoonish than beaverish you know but it still had the big fluffy tail, which wasn't fluffy after a while. Uh, it became rock hard, literally. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the seashore, seashore camp. I want to show you a couple things there too. Uh, dealing with resource gathering that I unlocked, uh, I think a while back during my travels with Kent. Um, regarding like ore collecting and fishing and, and, and a drying rack and, and shit like that. Um, I decided to try them out for the first time. And, uh, wow, look at that. We got ore that the Sukumo collect. Uh, my Sukumo, by the way, looks like a little rock dude now. Because that was a skin I could find. But these guys just occasionally will go on their own. And it looks like, in this case, collected four bluestone and one coral fragment, which is nice. Uh, just automatic ore hunting, so I don't have to actually pick anything up. Uh, I made a little ingredients chest, which is nice. And it looks like my dried fish are ready, which is uh, really nice. Actually, I think I'm going to make uh, more of that. Ugh, I hate that noise. I hate that noise. No, it's the squelching. Uh, but it looks like we also have more fish that were captured. Oh, yeah, we do. And it looks like... They, out of the nine that I captured, uh, I got ten. <laughs> Not complaining, just... Making a statement. Really? Uh, there she is. There she is. Oh, she's cold, so she's gonna... She's gonna dig under her blankie. And burrow herself. <laughs> but you got her for about five seconds. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, but yeah, I made some new stuff, um, which is nice. I caught fifty of each in the in the first two maps here. Turns out there's four maps. Just a heads up. So there's a total of two hundred Sukumos. And there's a trophy for collecting all 200 of them. So I was like, oh, fuck, that means there's literally only that much. Um, but 
I went ahead, got a trophy for maxing out his defense form. Level 10 is the highest you can get for uh, one of these uh, little little bolt-ons here. Um, so we're going to take uh, whatever Sukumos we find in the next maps, uh, depending on how long that fucking takes. Um, we're going to put it straight into the assist form. And as you can see down in the bottom right corner, it says overall bolt-on reward. Red's held 21 going into 22. So the next level, I get 22 uh, thread cells. So I currently have 21 threads that I can hold, which means I can make a lot of basic car curry to help during the hunts, which is fan fucking fantastic. I also just noticed that I could see how many I have on the map done. Sukumos, anyways. Um, by going into the, the bolt ons here, which is nice. So, 50 out of 50. Here we go. But we're in the middle of a quest right now. Uh, not a particularly hard one. The raccoon did make me uh, paint once. Kind of sucks. I kind of want to just build a tower. I, I kind of placed my towers. This one, three, was enough to cover it. Uh, where did I place it? Here. Obviously here next to the dragon spire, or the dragon pit, and then here. Okay. And then, as you can see, I have a bunch of, like, random zip lines around just for the simple fact that, uh, you know, I need them. Um, <laughs> I need them. I, it, was, it was more so I could help uh, find the Sukumo, if anything. Considering I've got only 10 threads. Coral shell. That's the first time I've gotten a coral shell. So petting the Sukumo, and I think I figured this out uh, during the offline recording session. But uh, any of the small kimonos, in the Sukumo, Jesus Christ, any of the small kimonos uh, that you come across, you can pet, and they they have different awards for petting them. There it is. Oh, and I fought a giant chicken last time. And I'm not I'm not exaggerating about that. We'll fight the giant chicken again, don't worry. Don't you worry. We'll fight the giant chicken again. I wonder if I can I wonder if I can sneak up on this fucker. This guy is very similar to the lizard from the first map. Uh the the lizard dragon thing. moving and I bet you I can damn it you saw me whatever it to be like right on his head just to pet him it's so stupid all right over there somewhere. It's fine. We're flying? I'm also trying not to collect like a fuck ton of ingredients for no reason. Uh, food wise. Because. Uh, it fills up really fast. And I'd rather have like the dried meats instead. The answer is yes, you can. You can pet every small kimono, but I'm wondering if I can. Yes! What the fuck? Why was he. Alright, you know what? Come here, Grit Hog! See, he's got this, like, big, bushy tail. 
But he's definitely got a raccoon out face. He's got the same charge that the boar does. So I gotta keep that in mind. Of course, I decided to pet the, like, poison crab. Help. I had to do something very specific. Oh, it really does do that. Okay. Ow. Looks like it might be a temporary thing. Just, is that an actual, like, fucking, like, sea mine? Depth charge? There we go. Ow. No, 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 Tanaki. Come here. Really? That's all I have to see you? I don't need any more threads. I got threads, man. <laughs> like I already knew I was taking the damage. I wasn't fretting over it. All right, look, look. This time I. Oh fuck! 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 All right, that time I wanted to actually build something. What? A giant hammer, bitch. What's it? Ow! No, don't eat. Don't go to the eat menu. Please. No, he's not running away. All right. Oh, he is running away. All right. Fine. You know what? Fuck you. Giant fucking raccoon. I don't like you anyways. I need these like a motherfucker. 
none around this. Oh, there's one. I'm like, there's none around this area. That's not true. But again, of course, I decided to pet the poisonous crab. I can't believe I fucking did that. We'll cap off. Go max. Like, no. Ow. No, couldn't get it off in time. Oh, yeah. Got a sail, bitch. Risky. Risky. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Got his iron nugget. Nice. Put his balls off. Very nice. Hey. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's always easier once you fight them once, right? Eh. Whoopsie. Nice. Oh, I also made a change to my weapon. A little bit. So I was over here. Right. I was getting 100 damage or whatnot. Other DiMaggio's. Or maybe, you know, I was right here. Uh, I got 100 DiMaggio's. Fighting the chicken. Unlocked these. But I need mirror stone and, and more Dreadclaw shit. And then I'd be able to get the, the Waxing Crescent Blade. Um, I still need mirror stone, but you know, grit, uh, grit dog tails are easy to come by mirror stones. I still haven't encountered, but I, I decided to up my damage, get rid of the element and go with a raw damage build for right now. So, Hey, 
As for skills here, I mean, resurrection would be nice. Like a one time resurrection and go human on it. Hmm. But then I would still need Secret Thai Tabby. I would still need Grit Dog Claws to do that. This is what, the, uh, the chicken? No, oh, it's the Spine Glider. It has no skills. This one has Savage. Bro, what are my current ones? <laughs> These guys? Strong Arm Remedy? Oh, recovers health when a hunter's arm is activated. Okay. So that's what those mean. Got it. Well, I think I'd kind of rather like this, this one. Oh, oh. Really? All it has is a like little cloth behind it. Jesus. Hmm. Eh, it's less um less shit. Oh, actually. <clears throat> Age equipment. Talismans. I have gotten so much more. EI art inhibits. Yeah, it stands stamina loss. Interesting. Wrong swimmer. Stand tall, makes really from attacks on the ground less likely by fixed amount. Clove, I got this a while back. Provides a fixed chance of reducing injury. Oh, that's right, Destiny. Destiny is actually kind of nice. Um recovery speed actually would be fucking phenomenal tapping extra it makes it easier to check car curry threads and boost wood based attacks definitely don't need that ironclad and dodge master okay reduces stamina loss when dodging don't really need that um Honestly, out of all these that I have, or that I've gotten late, lately, red file. How do I get like rid of these? How do I, can I sell these? Is that a thing? Cause like, man, I've got lots of health boost and fatigue recovery. Got lots of fatigue recovery, in particular. I mean, to be fair, the amount of stamina that I actually use is kind of nuts. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm assuming there's gonna be that much dragon car curry happening, but I doubt it. Like part of me doubts it. Um What did I want? Oh, this. Still don't understand this. Maybe it's story related. But it's like I I have it awakened conditioning not met. But I have it like unlocked because I fought the bird. Uh that's a thousand fifty. I think he's for centuries to draw out the flavors in food. It affects its effects on odor and taste are wildly different depending on the item pickled. Every hunter has a personal favorite. Could be worth it. What's this? Uh, another bench? Nope. Uh, enables rapid movement using flying vines. Uh, essentially they just become faster. They're already pretty fast as they are. Um, boosts the power of Pounder Karakuri. Where am I, where am I going down here with this? Uh, enables food processing with fewer ingredients. Okay. 
Um, fermenting. Interesting. Okay. Well, what's over here? This is a fusion cutter car curry. Um, hmm. Well, it's extremely tough. It quickly disintegrates, but nonetheless offers a brief window of escape. Flash of inspiration on specific uh, kimono hunt. Okay, that's understandable. I field wall. Interesting. Okay. Uh, stronger than the bulwark, I take it, but doesn't last as long. Uh oh. Once tamed, many creatures gladly offer useful parts of their bodies to their owners. Okay, let's have to go that route. And this is a repeater crossbow. Oh, it's a turret. Oh. It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> Wait a minute. Occasionally <laughs> like boosts the amount of materials and food obtained from Sukumo shrines. Oh, that's a that's that's just a passive looks like. Nice. Okay. Um, regardless, I think I want to boost the power of this first. <clears throat> it's fine. It is definitely fine. Okay. Cool. So we did both of those. I really don't like the squirrel. But yeah, it's fine, I guess. Uh. <laughs> I don't like the squirrel. He's got a bouncy butt. Like, actually. Oh, uh, remind me when we finish this to check that one dragon car curry. Or the dragon pit. Sorry. Um. That way we can get that last dragon pit out of the way. That'd be kind of neat. Hi, buddy. Yay. Got a coral shell. So that's three total that I've pet. I find out what this fucking dickwad is. All the way. Oh, you're by the monkey. <laughs> oh, sorry, Bob. Don't catch me doing something so foolish. Uh, uh I'm told uh, in in the story to to go fight that monkey. I ain't fighting that monkey. Got him. Give me your whiskers, bitch. All right. Thank you. Look at that serpent's beard. All right, let's go find the uh... monkey. See monkey do. Don't look like he's fighting it though. The monkey's not on the map. 
<laughs> Fantastic. 